Speech Circle Time is a resource that is designed to create some structure for speech therapy sessions, specifically teletherapy sessions. And I'm going to show you through the resource today. It is a Google Drive resource. So when you purchase, you will download a PDF with a clickable button that will prompt you to make a copy of the resource for your Google Drive. And actually there are two buttons. One is for this chalkboard background and the other one is for a plain white background and you will have access to both of those. They are the same other than the backgrounds and the text color. When you first open the resource, I would suggest naming the original version. And to do that, you go to file version history, name current version. And then I've named this one original, um, just something so that you can reset the activity if you want to back to the original version. And then to go to that original version down the road, you would go to file version history, see version history. And on the left, there are the versions that you've named. So you would pick the one that you want and it would ask you, is this what you want to do? And you would say yes. Okay, so on the second page is the menu and these are clickable buttons. So it has every month, which these are the kind of the main pages of the circle time. Obviously you would go to the month that pertains to what the current month is. It starts with August, goes all the way through July. And then these over here are the extension activities that we will go through as well. So let's say you want to go to August, you would click on it. And then the blue text that pops up is what you want to click on. That'll take you right to the slide. Okay. So once you get to the page that you want, you have many different things present here. Um, so the first one being it, a prompt or kind of a reminder to help your students to turn on their webcam and their microphone so you can move these once they've turned them on. Um, if you don't want them to turn something on, you can also mark this as what you um, kind of want them to do when they enter the teletherapy room. Of course, you can ignore it if you're using face-to-face -face therapy and don't need to use um, a webcam or microphone. So then there is the calendar um, with a star. This is movable and it's transparent. So you can move it to the current date, as you can see. These numbers are all changeable. Obviously the dates will change each year, so you can kind of reset it. It's set for the 2021 school year, but obviously you can use this beyond that school year and just change the numbers take a few minutes to change the numbers. There's also calendar icons over here on the side and those can be clicked and moved to the calendar if you want to, you know, signify special dates on the calendar. Uh, the weather is another circle time activity you might use. These circles are movable so you can talk about the weather and it might be, for instance, rainy and cold. Um, so you can use the ones that pertain to the day. If you want to delete one, you just click it, hit backspace. Uh, there were two under there, so you could clear them both. The next section is the schedule. Um, you could do this at the end of the circle time or, you know, whenever works for you. These are fillable text boxes, so you can um, type in them what the schedule is going to be. There are also icons over here that you could use to move if your students need those visuals. Um, these are editable, so you can type something else and you can add your own picture uh, to add pictures here and throughout the resource. You'll click on the icon, the question mark icon usually, and then replace image. Then you can upload something from your computer or search the web or any of these other sources if you want to add your own picture. Um, these check marks on the schedule are movable, so you can check off activities. If you want to use this throughout the session, you can do that. Otherwise, you can just review like what the session is going to be. 
Also on this section, there's homework. So if you want to talk about the homework from last week or the homework that will be happening, uh, that will be assigned this coming week, you can do that as well. Back over here, students can share how they're feeling today and talk about kind of how they're doing. There Again, there's a multiple of these. So if you have a group of four, you can, each one can have their own. If you want to delete some, again, you just click on it, hit backspace. If you want to duplicate it or add more, you would just right click, copy and paste is right there. Okay, the I want to share is also an editable text box. You can let students share something that they did over the weekend, for example. You can type notes in here if you want to, or just kind of use this space as a place to, um, a placeholder for kind of sharing about what's going on. Same with reminders. This is an editable text box that you can type into. If you have a reminder, say no school next week or something, you can put that in there. Reminders to wear their headset or um, be sitting at a table or kind of whatever you want to share with your students. Um, and then today's word or theme. If you have a theme of the day and you want to introduce that, in this box, you can type the word um, bugs or whatever it is that you're gonna be working on. Also, just so you're aware, the view um, menu option here has different zoom levels. So you can zoom in or zoom out, make this bigger or smaller. Um, I've purposely hid all of those over there so the students can't see until they're kind of clicked and moved into the view um, but just know this space over here is workable space as well and that you can zoom in or zoom out to make as much of it visible as you want to okay so those months are all the same for each one um, the only thing that changes is the actual month of course and again all the dates in the months are editable so that you can set the calendar at the beginning of the month beyond the 2021 school year because it's set up for that. Okay, back to the menu page. Um, these are the extension activities. And while, while I'm here, I'll mention this demo video. Um, you may have got there using this link, but just in case you ever want to look at it again, there'll be a link here to this video to show you all these um, features of the resource. So the extension activities the same work the same way. You'll click on the button and then click on the slide number that you want to go to. Um, this one is who's here, kind of like an attendance or roll call. These are editable, so you can put your students' names. You can check off who's here, who's not here. Um, you know, kind of at the beginning of the session, if you wanted, if you want to do that, you can. Again, these are all optional, so whatever works for you and your students. If you want to work more on the calendar. Um, this calendar is also editable. This you have to type in the month and then you move these dates around um, for, you know, to line up with the current month's calendar. And then you can talk about today is Tuesday, February 16th, um, 2021 or whatever. You can click and drag the season here so just kind of some calendar concepts to work on this next one is songs and there are nine popular children's songs these are all clickable buttons that take you to youtube videos of those songs you can change the link if you have a preferred video that you want that's different from the one i've programmed here and to do that you would just click on this circle it'll highlight it right click hit link and then you can paste whatever link you want to in there for your preferred video of that song. And then this one is editable. So again, you can change the photo or the picture by right clicking, replace image, uploading from your computer or searching the web is really easy. You can just search in what you want. It's all linked to Google. Um, and then you can type the name of the song in that box. Um, the next extension activity is shapes and 
It has labels of different shapes and then movable shapes that you can bring over and talk about bigger. Um, you can have a shape of the day if you want to. You can just, you know, label the shapes, move them around, talk about them, practice that vocabulary, these labels. You can also move to the label the shapes if you'd like to. Same with colors. The colors are not movable, but these um, labels are movable, and so you can move them to label the shapes. You can also insert pictures and talk about those, um, the colors in the pictures, and to do that, to insert your own picture that's not you know, replacing one of my question mark boxes, you would click insert image and then the same choices come up, searching the web, uploading from your computer. So if maybe the color is green and you want to insert a picture of a tree um, or a bunch of different green things, you can do that on this slide. Letters, if you have letters or sounds of the day that you work on, you can move these letters around and talk about them. Um, and if you have a letter of the day and you want to move it down here, you can do that as well. Same thing again, if you want to insert pictures of things that start with your sound, you can put those on the slide as well. And then last um, is the theme. So you can edit this text box to put whatever the theme is um, for the day. Um, maybe you're talking about birds and then you can replace this image like we've shown a couple times. Um, so replace image and then maybe you want to search the web and um, find a picture of a bird and then you click, oops I missed it, click replace and it'll put that picture right in there. You can add additional ones besides just that one if you want to. Um, and you know, just kind of introduce key vocabulary and theme vocabulary for the rest of the session. So hopefully that helps. Again, this video will be always accessible to you via the link here. If you want a reminder of how to customize this for your particular needs. Thank you.